Hey everyone, this is Coffee Jug, and what I want to do today is show you how to make and program your own LED Christmas lights. What you're going to need is just some cardboard. Uh, this is just an old box that actually came from uh, Amazon Echo, but you can just use a single sleeve um, or any kind of box that you want the LED lights to be on. That's up to you. It doesn't really matter. What I'm using here are gumdrop 5mm LED lights. I've got three different colors. I've got blue, green, and red. Um, in this case, I have 12. You can have 15 if you want. Um, we're going to wire all these into the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. And so then you will obviously need a Raspberry Pi. And this is the Raspberry Pi 2 model. Um, you will also need some female to female jumper leads. Now, these are the cables that do not have the pins. And you're going to need a solder iron some solder and some wire strippers and, and that's really it so what you're going to do first before you get into the raspberry pi or anything like that is i took these leds and i know it's kind of hard to see but i drew a line across this box and i just did some measurements and you're going to have to do the measurements that that feed into whatever container you're using and mine are sp evenly split every two millimeters apart to get a nice even balance to the lights. And so you can make that two inches, five millimeters, or five centimeters, whatever it is that you want, it's up to you. And I drew a line. And then what I did was um, I took an X-Acto knife and I just pricked two holes in. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, and then that's what I slotted the LED lights in. I use the long leg to the left, long left, that's the positive, negative on the right. And I use three lights here, blue, green, and red in the same pattern. Blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red. And there you go. You have it there. All right, so that's going to be your first step. Take your cardboard box, get your measurements, get them evenly spaced out or in any kind of pattern that you, you want, whether it's a star or a circle, whatever. Take your X-Acto knife or any kind of device that can puncture through cardboard, get those two spots and get all the legs through. And that's gonna be your first step. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at how to get all the wiring done next. All right, so what, what we're gonna do now is we've got my LED lights all into the cardboard, all measured as we uh, saw in the previous video. And I've got my legs all spread out. These are the positives here. My negatives at the bottom. And what we need to do is the positives are all going to be their own separate. And so I've got my female cable. I got some longer wires. You could solder some extra wire if you need it onto these tips and then attach if you need some length. But I think these are going to be playing along for what I want to do. So for the positives, I'm just going to be able to just connect this way and I'm going to be fine. Um, and all the positives are going to be separate. They have their own separate feeds so we can program them. So I'm going to go ahead and add all these in. And then what we need to do for the negative is we need to make this all one consecutive wire. So I'm just going to take my wire here and I'm going to go a little bit longer than the box just so I have some room to operate with. And I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to solder this wire onto all these and make it one long consecutive piece. So I'm just going to start this first one here. I'm just going to strip this end. Actually, I could probably just strip this whole wire, it'd be easier. So now it's all stripped, it's all exposed. 
So the tip that I found to be really helpful is I just wove the wire what, over, under, over, under. It kind of just braces the wire, makes it a lot easier, kind of holds the wire in place for me. And they went through it because it wasn't ideal to get the helping hand on in here. And so as you do that, if you kind of get it locked in that way, it makes it really easy to solder. And so the soldering doesn't take much time at all then once you kind of get it going. good here. All right, so we'll go ahead and add now the rest of these wires. Also help down the road to label all these and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute but for now we'll just get all the wires in Okay, so I've got my 12 LEDs positive, all threaded separate, and then I've got my negative all soldered together in the one wire. So let's go ahead and get this plugged into the Raspberry Pi, and then we'll get into the coding. Okay, so if we're looking at our pins and your box from the clear to the left hand side moving to the right, we're going to want to add our GPIO pins as follows. Starting on the left hand side, we're going to plug into GPIO 10, 12, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26. And then we're going to wrap back around down into that second layer. So we're then going to go 23, 21, 19, and 15, and 13. Now, if you had 15 LED lights, you could then also use 11, 7, and 5, but I only have 12. So once again, going from the left-hand side of the LED lights, if you're looking at your LED lights, 10, 12, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26, wrapping back around the 23, 21, 19, 15, 13, 11, 7, 5 are optional if you go 15 lights. Your negative wire is going into GPIO 6, which is the ground to complete the circuit. All right, so I'm not going to go through this whole code because the video is already getting long. I will share the link to this code, or you can just email me, and I will send it to you. I'm just using Python. It's very simple Python. What we're basically doing is we're just getting all the GPIO set up. These are the ones that I'm using. If you were to be using 15 LED lights, you could add um, 11, 7, and 5 if you wish. But for me, I've got the 12, so I've got these lights here, um, as we've talked about in the previous. What I have here is different programming lights. Um, so this one here, 
you gotta allow the lights, if you can see here, to turn on. True makes it turn on and allows the current to go through. So it's just going to turn them all on at whatever speed rate we give them. And it's gonna keep them all on before it turns them off. In this next set of code, as we go through, on, 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 and then trigger them all off. And then we go backwards. So then it's going to turn them on going, we're here, this is from left to right. Turn them all off. Now here, it sends it right to left. And then this false will turn them all off at once. This next one here, as you can see, it'll go through and it's going to turn on the red lights, then the green lights, and then the blue lights. So we're in a, a pattern of that fashion. I can't remember how I have the LED lights rigged in the box. Um, and then the last thing that it does, as we see here, is it's going to turn the light on and then off. Go to the next one, on, off. Next one, on, off. So we go here, so they're all on. Okay, and then they go back in the pattern. Then we switch in red, green, blue. And then finally the last piece is one at a time, going all the way through, on, off, before it goes through. And then it'll end in the code saying, Christmas in your face, what will you code next? Let's go ahead and see how this uh, turns out in the video of the LED lights. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. I'm gonna go ahead and run the module. It's gonna ask me how many total number of times I want it to blink the LED. So I'm gonna say uh, two here. And then I'm gonna, this is for the sake of time, I'm gonna make each light go for a quarter of one second. So if I go ahead and hit enter here, it should take off in my LED lights. So there's the second pattern going through, lighting them all up and coming back. Turn them all off, red, green, blue, and then on and off all the way through. Now you can change this code to make it do whatever you want, whatever you wish. That's the beauty of Python encoding in the do-it-yourself network. This is just a sample piece of what you could do. So now for me, the next step is to take these ideas, this skill set, and apply it to my own Christmas tree. Uh, with LED strands and all the awesome things that we see on YouTube. Hope you found this helpful. Look forward to any feedback or comments or things that you've done. If you have a different pattern, please share. I would love to learn from you because uh, it's all about sharing and networking. Have a good one.